Hello and welcome back to PA Academy. So this is example four. We are still looking at nodal analysis. So in this, this is the question we are going to be solving. It says, using nodal method, find the current through the 100 ohm resistor. So like I do say in the previous examples that we've looked at, questions like this, there are different methods of solving it. So the questions can ask you specifically that to use this method. So that's why you have to be familiar with all of them. The node, the super node, the mesh, the tevinin, and every other thing. You have to be familiar with them because you never can see. So it says what's using nodal method find the current through the 100 ohm resistor like i said the other method you can use to find the current that is flowing through this 100 ohm resistor but this question wants us to use what nodal method as a nodal analysis so now let's get started so i said the first thing you do is to identify now this is how the question will come out unlike the previous example where the question itself will indicate the nodes you can see this one did not even give us any node or any other thing so this is just uh, how the questions can be so let's first of all identify um, the nodes. So if you look at, if you also take a closer look at this question, or before I even do anything, I want you to first of all take a look at this question and then note down how many nodes do we have in this particular circuit? How many nodes? How many nodes do you think are in this particular circuit that we are having, including the reference nodes? So how many in total do you think? How many nodes do you think we are having in this circuit? So just note your answer down. The questions look very simple, but it can be very tricky. So look at this closely. How many nodes do we have? Do we have here? All right. So if you have not done your answer, so now let's continue. Or we let's let's start whichever one. Okay. So now if you look at this circuit closely, there are only two nodes there. Yeah, there are only two nodes. This is a node, and this is also a node. These are the only two nodes that we have here. Now, this is where it can be very tricky. This at the top where you are having something like this. So, and then we have uh, this branch and then we have this and then we have this now don't make a mistake of calling this a node and then you call this a node because there's no element here there's nothing here so you can not call this a node and call this a node this entire thing itself is a node exactly so that is where the question is very tricky in picking the nodes so it's just like having everything meeting at this point exactly so this is a node and this is also a node so if you are able to identify that then you are as good as you know solving the question all right so if this is the node let's call this place va this node v and let's take this as a reference node let's indicate it as zero so now let's pick um, current direction let's pick the direction of current so like I said, you can just pick random direction of current. So for me, I can just say, okay, this is a, this is going towards A. I mean VA. I can just pick that, okay, this is going from the reference to point VA. That, okay, this is going from VA to, to the reference. And then this is coming from the reference to VA. It is left to you. You can pick it in any way. You can turn this around. You can, you know, you can say this is going in the opposite direction. you still arrive at the same answer. Exactly. So don't let that to confuse you. So I haven't done that. Now let's apply KCL so you are going to be having apply KCL which is catch up current law to node VA so if you look at it we have two uh, two currents going two, two incoming currents current or incoming let me use that word incoming currents to VA and then is it two no we are, it's actually three this this and this they are entering to VA and then this is going out of VA so with that now let's let's apply KCL so from the reference in this direction so we have a voltage source here the longer side is positive the shorter is negative the longer is positive the shorter is negative so once you know that you are fine so from the reference to point uh, to the node VA that will be zero minus VA now there's a voltage source here in this direction that's from negative to positive plus 50 divided by 20 which is the resist uh, the resistance of the resistor so if you have done that that is for this particular branch let's see which other one is going into it so this from the reference to VA plus for this particular branch that is having the 100 ohm resistor that we are looking for the current that is passing through it so you are going to be having 0 minus VA because you are based on the direction that is from the reference to VA 
divided by 100, which is the resistance of the resistor. So which other one is in, in, uh, going toward into VA? So like this, based on the direction that we pick, you know. So we are going to be having plus, uh, that will be 0 minus VA, then plus 20, this is minus plus, plus 20 divided by 30. Okay, so then equals to, so let's look at the outgoing, that is from VA, this is VA minus 0, so that will be VA minus 0, VA to this particular node, minus 0 divided by 120, so that is it, so now let's simplify this, what we are having here, so this is just um, basic math. So in doing this, okay, let me just rearrange this. Because of the zeros, I, don't forget, I just intentionally, you know, some can decide to also meet this zero, but I just want to make sure that you are not lost. Okay, so we are going to be this, we can also rewrite this as um, 50 minus VA divided by 20 plus, okay, then minus VA over 100, and then plus 20 minus VA, over 30 equals to VA divided by 120. Are we good? Alright. So we can just this is just LCM 150. Everything here you can use it to be I can be divided, I can divide 150. So um 150 divided by um by 20 that should be 7.5 I guess. So 150 divided by 20 yeah, that's 7.5. So 7.5 times 50. So that will give us 375. 375. Then minus 7.5 VA. Okay. Then uh, 150 divided by 100. That's 1.5. Multiply by minus VA. That's minus 1.5 VA. And then we are having 150 divided by 30, um, that is 5, multiplied by 20, that will give us 100. That will be plus 100 minus um, 5 VA equals to VA divided by, by 120. So if you are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Alright, so let's simplify this. You're having 375 plus 100. So that should give us um, 475. 475. And then we are having minus 7.5 VA minus 1.5 VA minus 5 VA. So if you put all this together, we are going to be having, um, that will give us minus 14. Minus 14 VA. All divided by. Alright, so all divided by, um, okay, let me just, is equals to VA, all divided by 5, and then 4. So what I did here is, this is 5, this is 4, is on the equals to sign, 150 divided by 30 is 5, 120 divided by 30 is 4. You know, just, let's just reduce the numbers. So instead of cross multiplying and then having a very huge number, we can just divide it, the denominator and then we'll have a smaller value. I hope that's just the basic math. So, I believe at this, if you are looking at nodal analysis, there are some basic things that we can just skip or miss to save our time. All right, so now we can cross multiply. So 475 multiplied by 4, that will give us 1,900. So 1,900, then 14 times 4, that's 56. So that will give us minus 56. So I'm cross multiplying here minus 56 VA equals to 5 VA. Okay? So with this now, we are going to be having... So let's just put the VA on the left and then the 1,000 I on the right. So we are going to be having minus 56 VA minus 5 VA is equals to minus 1,900. So this will give us minus 61 VA equals to minus 1,900. 
So that means you're going to be having VA equals to minus 1,900 divided by minus 61. So with that, our VA will be... So... Will be what? 31.148. Voltage, don't forget your units because this will cancel this. So, with that, <laughs> we've been able to get V. That means the voltage at this particular node is what 31.148. But that's not our final answer. The question itself says well, that we should look for what it says using nodal method, we should find the current that is passing through the 100 ohm resistor. This 100 ohm resistor, that means this particular resistor. Now, for us to get that that value so i want to clean this off in case you want to just pause the video and write that down so that we can have enough space to look for that current okay oh, i'll just clean that up anyways let's continue so for us to get the current that is passing through the space you remember the equation that okay i kind of like cleaning it up but no problem now let's consider this when we look at the current that is moving from here to this uh, point, we give it to be that will be zero minus VA, zero minus VA divided by hundred. Right? If you see the, what we are having here is current. What we are having here is current from Ohm's law. V is equals to I R. So that means I is equals to what? V over R. So if you look at what we are having at the top, what we are having at the top is just voltage, and what we are having here is what? Is the resistance and whatever value we have here as our current is that is flowing through here through this particular branch is the same current that is flowing through the 100 ohm resistor so that being said so so that being said that means the current that is flowing through the 100 ohm resistor is what is zero minus VA divided by 100 so that is um, minus minus VA because the zero is just same thing as having minus V over 100 so that will be minus VA and this is that's minus 31.148 divided by 100 so with that we are having minus 31.148 divided by 100 so that will give us minus 0.3114 amperes. Now we are having a negative value as a, as our answer. And what does that mean? That means in this particular circuit, when we are giving random um, direction for current, here I choose that or I assumed that the current is going upward. That means from the reference to what to point V A. But after analyzing the circuit and we have gotten all the values that we need with respect to the circuit, we are getting a negative value for the current here. What that means is that this direction that we assumed is what is not the actual direction. That means the current is actually flowing in what in opposite. That means instead of like this that we assumed, the real direction is what is like this. So this is the real direction. The assumed direction is not correct, but that won't affect our final answer. It will only affect the sign. So if you want to write your answer, since you're having a negative, so you have it as 0 0.3114. And this time around, the direction will be what? Downward. If you are giving this, then that means you are taking your direction to be upward. So this is the final answer to this question. So using node analysis, we've been able to get the current that is flowing through the 100 ohm resistor with all the things that we've done to be what? 0 0.3114. In the downward direction, in the downward direction. So the same step you are going to do if you are to calculate the current that is flowing through the 120 ohms. The same thing you are going to do if you are to get the current that is flowing through the 30 ohm resistor. So let me just add it to it as an addition. I do. We are going to be doing some things like that in the next example. But let me just give you a tip. So let's say the question is also asking us to look for the current that is flowing through, let's say, the 30 ohm resistor. So what you are going to do is still this you are going to write out that equation uh, of uh, for current moving from this node to this node that is in this direction that we use to get our VA which is that will be zero minus VA so right here we have a voltage source from minus to plus negative to positive plus 20 
divided by 30. So with this now we are going to be having minus our VA is minus 31.148 volts plus 20 divided by 30. So this will be giving us um, a negative minus 11. So this will give us minus 11.148 divided by 30. So let me see. So um, minus 11.148 divided by 30. That would, that would be 0 0.37 I mean, 0 0.37 3716 So since it's already in current amperes It's negative It will be giving us a negative That will be minus this So since we are also having a negative value So that means the current that is actually flowing through this 30 ohm resistor is 0 0.3716 then since this is direction that we assumed and gave us a negative so we are going to be that means in other direction which is going to be like this this is very this thing is very simple so just i hope you got all the things i've just done on this board in um in solving this question and even beyond like what i've just done here is not part of the question it's just an addition you know with what i've done to get this you should be able to get that of other the current flowing through other branches so i hope you find value in this if truly you do find value let me know in the comment section if you have any question or any doubts do leave them in the comment section if you find value please give it a thumbs up share subscribe and then there's one more example i want to share with you it's a very 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 interesting one so make sure you don't miss it that would be example five so i'll see you all in that example all right so thank you very much and do check out the website paacademy.co paacademy.co all right guys thank you